every protein starts off in the cell from what's called the ribosome which is the synthetic factory in which proteins are made as a string of amino acids that's being threaded out like so. so the ribosome is down here and the amino acids that are joined together are coming out like so. That's the backbone and that is a typical amino acid. As soon as the amino acid is faced with the liquid environment of the cell, which is essentially water, it starts folding, right? And if it folds correctly, you may get a structure that looks like this, where the amino acids that you can see make interactions that are ordained by years of practice, another word for evolution, right? Uh, this is the biologically mature functional form of a protein and it will have a certain catalytic activity. For example, this protein might be involved in the processing of sugar. However, what can happen is during the folding process, from there to there, the protein might misfold and then it will look like that. It was supposed to look like this, but it will end up looking like this. And the reasons are many. The cell is extremely concentrated with proteins, small molecules, etc. And there is a competition between one protein and another protein to interact. And if they start interacting before this fellow can fold, you will form what's called an aggregate. So you get a sequence of aggregates which doesn't have any biological function. And that's called a fibro. That can be detrimental uh, to the cell. And in case of neuronal cells, you end up with neurodegeneration of your brain. What can also happen is a small molecule, such as the hydroxyl radical, which is a free radical, that can attack the protein as it is folding, right? And then you have a modification in the amino acid and that amino acid cannot interact with the next amino acid in the way it's supposed to interact. The result is simply, instead of having a viable structure that looks like this, you have a misfolded structure that might look like this, which is biologically dysfunctional. So chemical modification through reactive oxygen species or free radicals can lead to misfolding. And misfolding has been associated with the pathogenesis of both Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and many other neurodegenerative disorders uh, such as Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, Lewy body uh, dementia, so on and so forth.